The most common reaction that we get is, this tastes like chicken. And what we tell people is that's because it is. So it is chicken, it's just made in a different way. My name is Joshua Tetrick. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Good Meat, and we're trying to make real meat without the need to slaughter an animal. With cultivated meat, you start with a cell and then you feed that cell and then you manufacture it in a stainless steel vessel called a bioreactor. Um, and then after about a few weeks, you remove it from the stainless steel vessel and you convert it into the finished product, which is a chicken on your plate or the beef on your plate. Today, we do that production in Singapore and we do that production in Northern California uh, in the United States. So instead of needing the billions of animals and slaughtering them and all the feed and all the things that go into it, we can make chicken in a more efficient, we think safer, healthier, more sustainable way. But it is chicken. So if you had a chicken allergy and you ate this, you would have an allergic outbreak. If you're um, staunchly vegan and you don't want to consume any animal-based products, you should not eat this, right? Because this is definitely not vegan. When you make cultivated meat instead of conventional meat, you have many more positive impacts. So I'll start with a third of the world today is dedicated just to feeding the animals we eat. So often we knock down rainforest to plant soy and corn to feed the animals we eat. In a world where cultivated meat is the dominant meat source, you don't need to do that. We can allow those rainforests to stay as they are and allow the biodiversity to, to grow and to flourish. When you make cultivated meat instead of conventional meat, you don't have all the food safety issues whether avian flu or mild cow disease or a host of other zoonotic diseases that come from cramming animals in tight spaces. When you make cultivated meat instead of conventional meat, uh, you make it with maybe fewer emissions. So conventional meat is responsible for more carbon emissions than all the transportation sources combined. Most people find that to be surprising. That's not the case uh, with cultivated meat. Well, eventually we see cultivated meat um, as being the meat. So we want it to be the vast majority of meat produced across the world. Today, uh, it's certainly for people that care a little bit more about the environment. They care about food safety. They like meat, right? They like their chicken, they like their beef, but they would prefer to feel a little bit better about it. Those are the kind of people that we, we target today. And we sell more than any other company in the world um, by many times but our volumes are very small. So we're right in the early stages of, uh, of making this happen. I think we all really enjoy meat, but I also think we also enjoy probably um, inflicting less harm on our own lives. And this is a way to do that.